They got him. You know who shot? Come on, you shot one of them? Yeah, that's her. Look how big this is. One shot. Get that. Tawana had just harvested a big swamp buck. And about 30 seconds later, and probably about 30 yards away, we jumped another big swamp rabbit. And when I say big, I mean this rabbit was big. And he ran, ran, ran. And the beagles pounded, pounded, pounded. You don't want to miss this. Jumped another one. I heard him right there. I heard something right there in front of us. Must be a bird. Uh. I heard something in front of us while again. Air is coming out, Liam. There you go. There you come. There you come. Be careful because he may cross right in here. He's gonna come out, y'all. Watch him. He's pretty quick. He's coming back towards you, Liam. See how he's trying to just zigzag anyway? He's trying to just lose him any kind of way he can. I think he's gonna come back right here. Yeah.
Watch him. Watch him, y'all. There he comes. Come on, bro. Despite all of us being down there, this very smart rabbit went around all of us, went through a cut over cotton field, went came out on the road about 20 yards from me. I just glimpsed him as he called, as he crossed the road. I called the dogs, they pushed him on to the back to the same direction in which he came, and he was running, running, running. Big rabbit. That's swamp rabbit. The dog's trying to get to air. <laughs> Go another way. Good job. And that dog is trying to. Oh, she made it up there. Say it again, there. They stick, it, stick them like peanut butter and jelly. They own it. They, they got to go somewhere. <laughs> Rabbit got to go somewhere. They stick them, but I mean, the first time it snapped, then he turned around, I shot him in the tail. Man, end. that's a big rabbit. Ooh. Say it again, Tim. What happened? <laughs> first time it snapped. <laughs> I chamber one back. He come running right there. He turned around, went back in. Man, that's a big rabbit. Let me see that rabbit. Hold him up. That's a big one there. He is a big one. My rabbit, will you? That's the one we just got. Man, that's a big rabbit. Let me see your rabbit. Oh man, that's a big one too. I heard um, you all shoot. We didn't know who shot. You shot one of them? Yeah, that's her. Look how big that's. One shot. That's Look at her. She gonna she gonna she gonna point out it was one shot now. <laughs> that's what it was a while ago. After we shot shot at that one. Oh, it was still I in there. Another shell in there. So it was empty. Oh, and then, and then ejected all again. man, how did you get from down there up here so fast? Fat boy run. <laughs> <laughs> Fat boy run. Man, that was some big rabbits. Big rabbit, yeah. But he come Both running. Of them big. I didn't know they were that first one. Was yeah, big. he come big. running straight out right there. I mean, right in the middle of it. Man, he didn't have nowhere to go because down in there, um, Aaron was on the right in the field, but he had to come all the way through the top of that field. Man. I was trying to hurt. I like the, uh, I'm God. glad y'all got some shots, man. Today, y'all boys, y'all boys. How many left for you, Chase? Yeah. Man, he had to move because I know I told him. I said your dad just went up there. That's a big rabbit. Though. But man, you hear that? Yeah, click. <laughs> the rabbit, the rabbit was still sitting there. <laughs> yeah, I tried listening for them dogs. He probably. Now he turned around when he seen me, and I went click. He turned around, went. I shot at him back over there. Wow. I was trying to hurry I knew he'd come there. back home. But it was gonna be a while before we got back over here. See what they really jumped him at right here. Right up in his head somewhere. We'll get on some more then. Liam was correct. After walking into this field, Ebby jumped another rabbit. Oh Ebby jumped that rabbit. And she paused for like 30 seconds. And he must have came within sight this to Tyson because he went crazy. Down in here, went on this rabbit to come back. They have went out of hearing distance. And now they're coming back on the top side. One oh guy, Liam, is down in there. See that orange? Another guy, Aaron, is over on the hill. Waiting on the dogs to come back. This may, it's probably going to be the last race of the season. And they are pounding. This rabbit took the beagles hundreds, and I mean hundreds of yards away. At the beagles, we could hear them at one point, but then all of a sudden, I, I slowly started hearing them going out of hearing distance, and I could barely hear them. But it was the last race of the season. Uh, I had trained all summer, worked puppies, worked grown dogs. This is what we had prepared for. They had ran in all kinds of terrain. I had hunted them on very cold mornings in swamps. I had hunted them in broad thickets. And this was the last race of the season. And I tell you what, we got on the perfect rabbit, the perfect swamp buck, that he ran and he ran and he ran. And I sat there and I was patient. Oftentimes when the dogs jump a rabbit, I don't like to chase my dogs. I like to sit and be patient and wait till the rabbit come back. Sometimes it makes, it makes the dogs work a little harder, but that's what I like. I like for them to go in those swamps 
and come out the swamps. Go over the hillsides and go through briar thicket. Go through areas that you can't even see because it's so thick for 50 or uh, 100 yards. And the dog still stay on that rabbit. That's what I like. So I sat there on the log and I just listened at this last race of the season and just see how wonderful the dogs were performing. Due to the time of the day and another obligation, we decided to cut the dogs off and end this race. It was the perfect ending to the end of the season. No one seen the rabbit, no one got a shot at the rabbit, and that's what made it perfect to me. We was able to sit back and listen to some great hound music for several minutes. We was able to listen at the dogs go out of hearing distance and come back in hearing distance with no checks whatsoever, just constant pressure and Mr. Rabbit took them on a long way. So that's why I say it was the perfect ending to the perfect season. I hope you enjoyed part one, part two, and part three of this, these video series. Uh, feel free to comment. Let me know what you think about it. Again, thank you for watching this video.